Meanwhile, Senate President Ahmed Lawan has underscored the urgent need for the federal government to improve on revenue generation in order to deal with the debt burden and improve the economy. The Debt Management Office in her latest release said the total public debt stock of Nigeria comprises domestic debt of 26.92 trillion naira and external debt of 17.5 trillion naira, totaling 4 to 4.6 trillion naira. The World Bank in its recent international debt report, IDR, also said Nigeria spent $9.6 billion to service foreign debts in 12 years, from 2010 to 2021, adding that the nation's debt stock was not reflected in the economy. Lawan, who delivered an address to mark the celebration of his birthday in Abuja, said most of the infrastructural developments in the country were facilitated through loans. We have to work hard to improve our revenue generation, collection, because it's not looking too sustainable that we tolerate people from agencies of government to misapply or not even declare the revenues they collect. We can't continue with that. So for us in the Senate, we have decided that for the remaining part, we'll continue to engage with our revenue generating agencies until we get better outcomes from them. And this is possible, this is uh, imperative, and also the concessions and the waivers that government, government has given to some uh, companies and individuals maybe, we need to review that, we need to work hard to improve on the revenue generation and collection by the MDS and other uh, government uh, uh, agencies. This should be a very, very important uh, matter for the next assembly to continue to deal with because we just cannot afford to continue borrowing. Uh, we should minimize it. I know it's not possible to eliminate it completely, but we should minimize it. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.